Hello students and parents. Here in this tutorial, we will quickly see how to join a virtual class. Here I have logged in as a student account. This is the same view you will get it when you logged in as a student or parent account. Here in my right hand side, I can see my class, I can see my subjects. There are two ways to locate your virtual classes. One is using top menu under learning. We, have, we will have a button, we will have a we have a button called learn a lesson plan. And here, uh, if I clicked on any subjects, I will go to the same page. So here I can see a day view and I can see a one class for uh, my upcoming class for a virtual class. And I can see a button to join a class. In case if I want to see the upcoming schedule, I should click on, I, I just go, to, I should go to the next view next week using this uh, navigation button, or I can click on week view and I can go to the next week this way. I clicked on these boxes and I will get the link to join the virtual class. So now if I clicked on this link, it will open up a virtual class for me. Okay. And here uh, I need to switch. I, this is very important. I should use only that account which uh, one attached with EduCloud. So I will, I should only, only the account okay which is attached with edu cloud and there's a button called join now i can see the class uh, name and the subject name and if i click on join now uh, it will me it will take me into the class so this is the button where i can switch on the mic and uh, microphone and switch on the camera as well uh, here is a button to switch on the uh, caption uh, whatever whatever the participant picks it will be automatically uh, convert into the captions and I can read there. Uh, obviously, I need to turn on the microphone for that. So I can see this is a really cool feature. I will see the caption of all the participants in case my uh, sound capability is not good. Everyone can uh, use this feature. There's a really cool feature. So let me turn off the uh, caption. Okay, so here I will see all the participants and there's a chat box where I can do the necessary chatting. I can I can talk to the, my part, uh, teachers students uh, well so if I, my teacher asked me to present my screen I should uh, click on present now so many many students and parents are making these mistakes they just clicked on present now uh, they are feeling that you know if I clicked on this button then only I will be in a meeting no it's not like that okay the moment you join on the screen you are already there in a meeting and you will see yourself with other, other participants here in this window well, so uh, this you should use uh, present now button only if your teacher asks you to present your screen, present your homework, present your documents. Otherwise, you shouldn't use that. Okay, here there are three buttons. Uh, if you click on three buttons, that will help you to uh, uh, for layout. You can change the layout, the classical layout, uh, sidebar, tile layout. You can use as per your convenience. Uh, there is a setting button. This is a really useful to test your microphone, to test your audio, and to test your video as well. So you can you can use these things. You can change your microphone. You can change your speaker. You can change your camera as well using this setting buttons. Yeah. So that's I think that's a very quick way to uh, work on that. Students should keep uh, microphone off and should keep camera on so teacher can see you there and. Uh, Whenever, if you have question queries, you can turn on microphone and can talk to the teachers. And again, you can uh, have your microphone turn off. So other students and teachers cannot be disturbed because of your surrounding noise and background noise. Well, so uh, at the end of the meeting, if you want to leave the meeting, just click on this button to hang up the meetings. So this is the way you will leave the meeting. Fine, so this is the way you can uh, go and join the uh, virtual class. This is a pretty straightforward. Let me have a summary. I'm in a dashboard. Two way to go to the uh, lesson plan, either using learning lesson plan or directly click on subjects. We can go there. This is a week. Uh, this is a day view. I clicked here. I will see the join online class button. And to check out the upcoming schedule, either I can use navigation bar or I should go to the week view and click on upcoming week and the last week to see the details. I should click on the box to join that particular class. So each box has a different virtual class. So I should click on the box and then click on 
join online class very much important part when you when you are here in a meeting you should you should use only your edu cloud attached id to join the meeting that's a really very very important okay i hope uh, that's a really very cool and very easy to get started with if you have any question queries you should feel free to contact your teacher your school admin for technical supports feel free to reach out support at the red thank you students and parents